Crayfish, crawfish, crawdads, no matter what you call them, they exist in some water bodies in North Dakota. North Dakota has two species of crayfish, the virile crayfish and the calico crayfish. Uh, they're fairly wide distribution throughout the state, but you won't find them in every single wetland or stream. Crayfish are also a good food source for fish. Largemouth bass, walleyes, northern pike, uh, catfish, bullheads, even yellow perch I've seen uh, in the stomachs of them. Anglers can trap and use crayfish for bait or for food in North Dakota. You can have 50 a day. The part that people eat on the crayfish is just this tail section. People are familiar with the lobster tail. Crayfish have a tail too, so it's not very big, but you get 50 of them, you could probably get a meal, meal for a couple people. Crayfish are omnivores, so they'll eat a wide variety of things. So they'll eat uh, plants, they'll eat algae, even algae that's attached to rocks or submerged logs. They'll eat invertebrates, uh, small fish when they can catch them. Crayfish have interesting body characteristics to help them survive underwater where they spend most of their lives. And if you look at them, underside you could see several pairs of legs for mobility. You could see a couple of big claws or chelae which they can use for defense. They can use for manipulating their food item or their habitat. And then they also have some antenna for sensory. And they do have a couple of eyes, little black dots on the top of their head. And then if you notice on this crayfish I'm holding, his tail is tucked down. And you have to be careful when handling crayfish too. You can pick them up, but just be careful because they can pinch you with these. And it, it hurts, especially on these big ones. So if you grab them from, from the backside and just pinch them on the sides, that's your best bet. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.